Hello, friends! <laughs> welcome, welcome to Granny Pan Knits! Yes! Our podcast where we talk about all things yarny and crafty and the adventures and fun that we have with those. My name is Becky. And I'm Wendy, and I'm Becky's mom. <laughs> and Oh, we, and I'm also the Granny Pan. <laughs> Granny Pan. We love Peter Pan and just staying young and having fun. Um, normally, we do our podcast in Neverland Forest Sweet. in Sweet. Granny Pan's basement, but today we're actually mm -hmm. at my house because it snowed a lot and I did not trust my car. <laughs> it snowed so much that we had not one, but two snow days snow days and we're in salt lake in utah so um when we get a snow day it usually has to be like two feet of snow which yeah. having a snow day <laughs> is rare so i've been teaching in schools for 32 years are you gonna be 32 this year so 31 years i've been teaching school and we went for a span of 20 years with none with none no yeah. snow days none <laughs> None snow days. Wow. One thing the pandemic taught us is that we can go virtual now and it not take away from yeah. school. So okay. I think that's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why they decided it was just like safety issue and all that to be, to be safe. They didn't want kids out on the road. So, and they also, the reason they called the second one is because once it stopped snowing, I mean, across the valley, we got anywhere from 15 to 24 inches of snow. So clearing it out of the parking lots of the schools and the entrances to the schools and making sure that all of the fire exits are not blocked and all that stuff has to get done. It was so crazy. In my neighborhood, we got a lot. My driveway was about knee deep and I was shoveling and there was um, plow trucks trying to plow and the plows were getting stuck. It's crazy. In the snow, that's it's how much there is. Way lots. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I might put a little video of me trying to take my trash out this morning. I <laughs> put it off all morning because I had to climb through the snow, and um, <laughs> it was crazy. But the positive was I didn't have to bend down to pick up my second garbage because I just set it on top of the snow. And oh, was it was light enough to set on the snow. Ready to go from there. <laughs> it was so well, that's cool. high of a snow. But. So I got to drive over here because mine is the car that has the four-wheel drive. Yes. <laughs> so we didn't worry about me getting stuck in them. But really the main place, once you get on the main roads, it's totally clear now. It's My just getting out of your driveway. It's <laughs> really hairy right now. So yeah. Oh, speaking of granny pan, I'm going to show this off because I love it so Ooh, much. I got this guy for Christmas. Look how cute that is. Yay. For the granny pan. Isn't that so cute? Oh, my kids went to Disney and this is what they got me for Christmas. Love it. And this is one of my favorite parts of it back here. Look. Nana. Nana on the back. <laughs> it's cute. So anyway, pretty cute, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I had to show that off just because I love it so much. Show it, it's great. There's lots of stuff that we love that we get to I show know, off. We get to show off a lot. Um, so basically that's what's going on with us right now is this mm -hmm. crazy dumping of snow. And we're actually filming, what's today, February 23rd? Yes, it's 23rd. Um, this will go up in like a week and a half. So hopefully yeah. by when you see this, it will be sunny again. We have a joke not, in Utah. It is sunny outside right now, but it's <laughs> the just joke, sunny. The joke in Utah is that there's actually like 12 seasons, right? And there's winter and then fall, spring, and then second winter, and then full spring, and third winter, mm -hmm. and it kind of like goes back and forth. Because yeah. I have my garden things growing like this tall of happy little green things <laughs> ready for spring, and then so much snow. So we ping pong a lot. I think we're in second winter <laughs> right now. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully, um, we'll be in one of the springs in a couple weeks. That will make me happy. <laughs> Do you know what the best thing is about having snow days though? So we did virtual lessons. I had to be online for two hours to answer questions. I had videos posted. My students will be okay when I get back with them, but it opened up a whole lot of time for dun, 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 knitting. Yay! 
Because you can't go outside and work in the yard or feel guilty because you're not working out Unless in the yard. Unless you're so you just snitch. shoveling all day. Oh, no, that's true. <laughs> Both of us have kind of big driveways and no snowblowers. Although my husband uh, did buy one online from Amazon yesterday because he was for like... For next time. Yeah, and you watch. We will not get snow like that for another 20 years. So okay. whatever. It's fine. It's good. It also works for shorter snow. So that will be good, I think. He'll have to find those excuses to get it out, won't he? Because so. <laughs> really, I do more of the shoveling. He has a bad back, so I do most of the shoveling. And Becky does the shoveling because her husband shovels U-Haul all day. So <laughs> Yeah, he runs a U-Haul and he has to dig out his trucks and trailers all day. So all day. I try and at least have his half the driveway for him to come home and park in when he gets back. That's very sweet of him. So, uh, it's it's like a bare minimum of me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the least I can do. Okay. Should we move to what we are wearing, Becky? Yes. Jump into some knitting. We both have um, some new shawls that we have been working on and are super excited about. Super excited. I don't think I've been this excited for a shawl since last year when I did my um, Princess Bride one. Oh, that was a good that one. That was yeah. a good one. Do you want to go first or no? I can go first. That's okay. great. Mine is actually a crochet shawl. I'm going to hold it up here and make sure you get to see all of the gorgeous layers of fabulousness in this Yay. thing. Oh! Just going to squish it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Lovely. This one is called Lost in Time. And I forgot the name of the designer, but I'm sure we'll get it up there somehow. And I just am totally in love with it. You guys, it's a silk blend. Look at the colors on this baby. It's just Isn't beautiful. that just, oh, I can't even. It's <laughs> so pretty. And it went together a lot faster than I anticipated, probably because it's crochet. And I am a much faster crocheter than I am knitter. And, uh, <sighs> It's just delicious. It's okay. squashy and beautiful, <laughs> and I just, wow, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So the yarn is from Greenwood Fibers, and it is a Merino Silk Yak blend, which is just, I can't even. I, it, I, it, speechless. Yeah. Just it's nice. So there's one thing missing on it that I have to decide whether I want to or not, and that is it's supposed to have a nice tassel right here at the point, and then on either end of the triangle it's supposed to also have a tassel, but I kind of like it tasselless, so yeah. well, we'll you see could if put I it on and then take it not. off. Yes, I can make it a removable tassel. I, I have one that has tassels on it, and I loved the tassels, and I'm so happy, but now that it's kind of older, like the tassels have just gotten messy. Yeah. And so I'm kind of thinking it would be fun to put like a little pom-poms instead of tassels instead for the next tassels. time I do one. That could be fun too. So uh, you yeah. could always just um, put it on and then take it off if you don't like it. I totally could. I, totally. I could totally make a removable tassel. That's not that hard to do. Yeah. So we'll see if that's what I end up <laughs> doing. I even thought I could sit here while we're talking and work on tassels, but I'm not very good at the multitasking, you know, the whole knitting while we're talking. Yeah, some people are right. like really good at that. But Adept. <laughs> I, I'd be like this the whole time. <laughs> do. Like look at my head while like, I'm doing something in my head. head. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, not, not for today. Is your hat new too? My hat is new too. Do you want to talk about your shawl and then I'll talk yeah. about the little hat? Ta-da! This is my Luminaria shawl. I will take it off to show if I can. You have a beautiful shawl pin on it. I have a beautiful shawl pin that is a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tight, how I have my band. But look, it's a turtle. That's really I, cute. I'm pretty sure it's a coconut. Uh, we got it in Hawaii, so. Yeah, that it's is cute. neat. we go right there. Um, but ta-da, da 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 So pretty. Um, probably seen this the last one or two episodes. Yeah, I know it was on the last I cast one, it least. on like right before New Year's. And it has this fun lacy edge with a Pico bind off. And this is the second shawl that I've knit. That's one of Lindsay's patterns, Lost and Fond. 
or she changed it to Lark's Burnet. Sorry. Nice. Um, and what's the other one of hers that you did? The, was it the Princess Bride one? No. No, it was the one you did for the Jeannie. Bronte sister shawl. Oh, what's the one you did for Jeannie? Beckley. Because she told me um, on I've Sunday done two of that, one too. that she was wearing that one this week and that she Yay. just loves it. So I said I would be sure to tell you. Thank you. Okay, tell us about the shawl. Um, it's Up just this my so people can talk. There. I'll cover my face while you talk. It's a fun slip stitch color work. And I used my Lord of the Rings mini skein set from Mulberry Fiber Co. And it's just <sighs> cozy and nice. And if I had a larger, um, like, blocking mat, I would have pulled it out bigger. But I just blocked it as big as my mat would let me pin it down. <laughs> That's pretty good. So if one day I get more pieces, because it kind of looks like a puzzle kind of put together mat. So if I got more puzzle pieces, I might block it out a little bit longer. Because ah. the way I did it was kind of like deeper and shorter. Okay. Because that's what I could fit. But yeah, I'm so happy. I blocked and mine as big as I could. I love it. And while I was blocking it, I noticed a few little mistakes that I made, but I don't care. Oh, I well, I had no mistakes. Nobody so would I ever didn't know. Notice yeah, right, liar face, liar face. I don't have mistakes. <laughs> We all make mistakes. I'm not a diet. mistake maker. <laughs> uh -huh, right. Mm -hmm. oh, we all believe you. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> okay, the hat that I have on today, this one, I'm going to take this one off and see if I can get it to sparkle because it is a sparkle hat. Sparkles. Yes. Ooh, there, gold see, it's catching some sparkle there from the windows. Yes. <laughs> yes, this has a gold sparkle in it. This is a... Magpie Darling with a couple of little um, modifications to it. I did a twisted rib for the brim because I really wanted it to be more prominent because with this fuzzy stuff, sometimes the ribbing kind of tends to disappear. And I put the little stripe in it because why not? I had the two different colors and I thought that might be fun to just put a little stripe in it. So yeah. there you go. I, I made one of these before. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. And I gave it away as a gift, but I really wanted one for myself. So now I have one. Yay! Sometimes my favorite gifts to make are the ones for myself. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I know too, I remember the name of this designer. This is Amanda Kafka, who is the Crafty Jackalope. If you look her up by the Crafty Jackalope, she's got an amazing website with loads of sparkly, blingy stuff on it that you can get to just make your knits. So what I think is the most amazing about this one is you look and you see, oh my gosh, there's sequins in it. What the hey? Doesn't that make it crunchy? Not in the least. It is That's still wild to me. Yeah, it's feel. I it's feel, incredibly soft. Well, I was I was watching it on Grocery Girls and Jody's making a sweater that has the sequins in it. Mm -hmm. So she's holding like a DK weight and a mohair and and the sparkles. The sequin thread. And I would think, oh, that's itchy. No. Nope. Nope, it's not. It's just beautiful. So yeah. even even though there's some that are on the inside, it still is yeah. fine. Yeah, it's totally good. It's so cute. And they are so cute. I have enough yarn. I'll make you one. Thank you. But it'll be the dark color. <gasps> that's good. Is that good? You yeah, like I the like the color? dark color more. Okay, good. I think the gold stands out more on it. Like it kind of does, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anyway. That's my cute hat. Yay. Magpie darling. Yes, <laughs> magpie. I, I liked it to call it magpie too because, you know, magpies like they shiny like shiny things. things. Right? Ooh, shiny. Yes. Shiny. <laughs> okay. What else do you have that you finished? Anything else? Always. Okay. Um, we're going to be about a month late showing this, but I made a little Valentine wall Look hanging. How cute that is. For my wall, I didn't have a lot of decorations, and I had this skein that went through all these different textures of yarns, and I found this pattern, I'll link, I'll uh, put it in the show notes, but it's a, like a granny square, but it's a heart. It's like granny hearts. So cute. And then to keep them from being floppy, I had this like old set of 
wooden knitting needles that I can't really use. But I thought those will hold my hearts perfectly. And then I just safety pinned them together, kind of ghetto, but that's okay. And you would never know. They're cute. Hanging right up. So that has been bringing me some happiness this past month for Valentine's. For Valentine's. <laughs> That's so Little cute. Hearts. And <gasps> that reminds me, I think I have a pillow in my car that belongs to you. Yeah, I forgot it. I noticed it was missing. But happy, happy. Cute. Happy, yeah. happy, joyful joy. And it was very quick. Um, crochet is something that just works up so quickly and it's just such a happy fun thing for me so I was glad it though I was it glad to use so this quickly. yarn too it's been in my stash for many mm -hmm. moons I think since before I lived in this house even so wow did we get it at Camille's we got it at Camille's before Camille sold her store yeah which has been about <laughs> six years now so it's quite a while yep that's so, awesome ta -da! there's a done you have any more duns? So fun. I have a couple more duns. So I'm just okay. going to mention these because, well, one of them has gone because it was gifted. <laughs> if you look at our last podcast, the little um, neck warmer cowl that I made, Escher's Dream, has gone to its new owner. Turned out absolutely beautiful. Yay. I'm going to have to do another one of those for some gift knitting. Um, just because it was a super fast. You need workout. one for you if you're a math teacher. Yeah, that's true. I do need one for me too, so... Anyway, I'll be making more of those because that was a fun one and it was quick and yeah. And I finished my flurry socks. Yay! And they are blocking and it would have been a great day to have them here, but we'll do I a forgot picture. them at home. Should we put a picture right there? Ta -da! <laughs> They're done! Let's do that because I really want to wear them for snow day tomorrow. When yeah. I get back, I'll say, look what I did, students. Ta -da! So, <laughs> they'll be like, Okay. <laughs> Do you have any other FOs or? Yeah, I have one I that I one? just finished right before you got here. Get out of town. I so, don't think I showed this one. Did I show this one yet? I don't know. Go ahead and show that Might one have. and then I'll show this one. I um, <gasps> I did not block it because I just, just finished it. Just today. But. This is just a small triangle. I will pull it this way and hand block it for you. How about this? <laughs> Ta -da. This, one, all of our this pattern is called the Age of Brass and Stain Kerchief. And it's just a nice little shawlette, if you will. DK weight. Um, this yarn is from Chrissy at Yarn Cafe Creations. Yes. She had a super sale mystery skein Look bundles how pretty that we had is. to take advantage of. Oh, and I just wanted a simple little something to And it can show off the all the colors. colors. Look how fun those colors are. Yeah, My it's goodness. a fiesta. Is that what the name of it is? What's the name of the like color? Do you remember? Leaf something. Yeah, it's part of my little pony collection, I believe. And this is a Polworth yarn. So how did you like the Polworth? I liked it a lot. Yeah, it feels really good. It's nice. It's worsted weight? It's is that right? a DK. A DK weight. Oh, how fun. So... Yeah, I got a few of those. I might wear this fun. next time after it's blocked. Yeah, it's so cute. Because it'll so grow cute. a bit. The little tinies are just so fun to wear. So you've already showed those, that right? Is that, or is that yeah, something you Yeah, those are what I was wearing yesterday. Oh, okay. All right. I was just <laughs> noticing them in the corner over there. Okay, I'm fluffing up this pom-pom because, yes, it's an amazing pom-pom on a fun hat. Look how fun that is. This pom-pom was actually made by our friend Courtney. So cool. Yes, she handmade the pom-pom. I don't know how to do it, but she does. And it looks so cute on this little hat. I like this hat because um, I wanted to do it because the school colors of my school are red and gray. Very and fun. then it's got some little rainbow flecks that are in the gray, which is kind of fun. If I hold it back there, maybe you can see the color. There we go. So yeah, really a fun little knit. And I got this yarn from, I showed it before, Yarn Yay is the name of the little company run by Vicki Howell. And she did this one for her Christmas color, which I think is just so fun. It does have green and the little green bully. So yeah, Christmas without being in your face Christmas. I can still wear it to school as a school color thing. So 
Anyway, yeah. it's just a vanilla hat, seriously. I think I cast on 88, did a rib for a little bit, as much as I felt like doing, and then I just kept going in. And it was one of those that's like half and half dyed, so it striped up just beautifully. Yay! So, not without any thought, the yarn just did the stripes for me, which is awesome. That is a yay. That's a yarn yay. That is a yarn yay thing. So, <laughs> that's my other... F.O. I like Love it. I like doing hats. What can I say? I really enjoy them. Mm -hmm. I remember to have another F.O. Nice. Becky found another F.O. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ooh, that's a pretty color. I made another everyday slouchy beanie. This is a pattern from Dragon This is the Horse big one Designs. though, right? Is no. It another, or is it the original? No. Oh, yeah. This is a DK weight. Right. Um, There's two sizes. Last time I made the larger size. This time I made the smaller size. Oh, okay. I like this one I see what you mean. better. What so is it's it the bigger one. Everyday time. slouchy beanie. It's everyday or heavy. Okay. Slouchy beanie, I think, is what her pattern is called. Something like that. But you can look up everyday slouchy beanie, and I think it will bring up both. And you just choose. And this one is held with a mohair. Yes. Nice. This is Hobby Diablo, so it's like an acrylic kind of mohair kind of yarn. And, and then, them. yeah. And then the main yarn is one of Tristan's yummy colorways. I think uh, it's called my, All My Friends Are With Me. And this one is books. folded brim rather than ribbing. Yes. So the way it hugs your hat Ooh. is because it's got the fold to it. Some socks have a folded hem at the top too. Yeah, of so it has, uh, you use a smaller needle mm -hmm. and then it's a folded brim. And then that gives it its sucky on it. It's just nice. So this one actually I had to rip out a couple inches because I did the brim and then I started knitting and I realized later that I was supposed to increase after the fold. So I had to pull out about that much. Oh man. Which was That's normally fine, no but I'm holding a fingering weight yarn double yeah. And there's mohair, so I had like three that I uh, I just kind of made like a ball. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, baby. You Kyle's here. You want to say hi? Okay, you don't have to. Do you want me to open them up for the side, Okay. He's a pretty independent little guy now. If you want to go back to like episode three, he was like knocking over. He was the not independent. <laughs> I think that's what happened. The iPad fell. I love you. We're a little, not much, but a little more sophisticated now, so I don't think you could knock over this tripod. If you I mean, if he wanted to, but I don't think he accidentally would. There you go. Hmm. That's one so, good way to say it. Yay! Happy, and this is my, for this month, going in the gift pile. Um, so that item. it's ready to go. Because I, that's my goal this year is to have a gift item every month, so that I don't have to scramble in December. I like that idea, but neither one of these is going in my gift pile. You I don't have to make a gift pile. It's fine. That's my <laughs> I goal. I my gift for myself. <laughs> no pressure <laughs> at all. Okay. Do you have more? I That's it for me. my finished ones. Yeah? Okay, I'll share this one. Ooh, yeah. Do, do, do. Actually, I might put this one on. I'll switch it off. There we go. Goodbye, Trazy. my beautiful. That one really was a lot of love. Ta -da. Look at that. Okay, so this one is called Little Leftovers Cowl by Telly Bean. And our knitting group is doing a knit along and we're all making one and true fact it's just really fun so that has been super fun because we've been able to see all of these different combinations come together with the same so it's a scrappy one that's yes. why it's called little leftovers and oh i saved my little balls to share but i don't have specially them specially designed here for but the leftovers. So it has 25 stripes. I used some of these colors like two or three times. So I didn't use 25 tiny pieces. Oh but, yeah. Um, it just yeah, and has... in fact, didn't one of the one of the gals in our group did like 
used like four minis or something like that. She said five or six. Did she? But look at it's just got all these fun textures. And then it's knit like a triangle shawl till you get long enough to go around your head and then it and combines it together and it goes in the round. It's just really nice. Such and a cute. fun idea and so Pretty. cute. I do think I am going to make another one of these with like um, I have some blacks and purples and grays that I think would be really cool to do together. That is really fun. So eventually we'll have another one. But this one, it was so much fun that it didn't take very long to knit because I just kept wanting to do mm -hmm. the next thing and the next section. Mm -hmm. It's really fun to switch. I think it's only six rows. Right. And then you switch a color, so it was... Stretchies like that very are... Very motivating. Yeah, it is. Stripes, <laughs> stripes are one of the most propelling things you can do. So I decided I would bring my bag that I've been choosing okay. my colors from. So there's my little balls, and honestly, there's probably enough in here to make four of, the, four of these. Yeah, shots. that's a lot of yarn. It's, a, it's actually quite a bit of yarn. So I went for the blues, purples, and I've got a pop of green in there too. So that's been a lot of fun. So this was just kind of gathering up all the odds and ends and minis and bits and seeing what I wanted to use. Oh, and I have this little guy too, but he's crinkly, so I took him out so he wouldn't crinkle, crinkle on me. But that one, I bought some leftovers and... Anyway, so here's my shawl in progress. Yay! Same shawl that Becky's wearing. Oh, and you've just connected it. But I've just connected. I've done probably um, two sections in the round since I connected it. Sweet. And then I decided that I just wanted to take a break and do something else. So yeah. nothing wrong with that. We, our goal for our knitting group is to have these finished for the yarn festival. We have a fiber festival here in Utah in Farmington. And it's April 28th and That's 29th this the year. the end of April, yeah. So we want to be done by then so that we can all <laughs> wear our matchy but not actually matchy shawls to yeah. the thing. Which same I think pattern, is so fun. Yarns. Look how cute that is to have <laughs> the same thing but in totally different colors. I just, whatever. That is so cool. Very fun. It's so cool. And I love the pop. So you can see the pop of green on there too, and I just yeah. think it it flows in so nicely. Isn't that just so fun? That's really oh, fun. Oh my heck, fun! So we've been working on these, and then you should see. We'll put a picture. I'm sure we'll do a picture of our whole knitting group with them all on at the same time. Wouldn't that be so fun? Yeah. In fact, knitting group is next week, and we're all gonna bring our shawls so that we can like see the different. Yeah. So we might have some different places where to put them in. And stuff. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Wouldn't that be so <laughs> fun? That'd be really cool to do. So, anyway, and we have to see if everybody's okay with us putting the picture up too. So, you know, there's that. Yeah. But anyway, they're so fun. I love that. So, um, our friend Margaret suggested that for our group. So, thanks, Margaret. Yeah, thanks, Margaret. <laughs> I think on mine, I did you do yours straight to pattern? Yeah, I did. Did you? Okay. I did a couple of extra rounds in mine before joining so that the opening would be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Mine goes I'm worried to... about that. Yeah. Well, and Becky Which I like, I like has... being able to kind of snuggle in, but. She has a larger yeah. gauge than I do, so I was like a little worried about that. Oh, that's true. Too. So I just kind of, I did do mine a little bit more before. Anyway, just to make sure. <laughs> that's so fun. Yay. Does that mean we've moved on to our works in progress now? Works in progress. That's a good transition with our same pattern. Right? That Done good. and doing. So that we'll share with you some of our things that we can. are working on currently. And then we have um, a giveaway to announce. So <gasps> I forgot to say we that at the beginning. We didn't talk about that earlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. We were going to say that at the very beginning. We are doing a giveaway today. Of awesomeness. <laughs> what so else do we want to say about it right now? Uh, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. I know we were gonna say that at the start. Half an hour that. in, it's all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, sometimes we probably would really benefit from a script, but you know, it's all good, right? It's fine. <laughs> so we'll um, we'll show you now kind of what we are currently working on. Then we'll talk about giveaway 
And last, we'll show you some new things that we are thinking of casting on next. It will be really fun. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Yes, yes. I brought a lot of those. So Okay, do you have works in progress? I only have one. Say? I only have one work in progress so besides you have your, the cowl. your cowl and then one more? Yes. I have three. You better show a couple of yours then. Okay, I'll show this one because I keep showing it every time, so it's not <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> well, no, this is only the third one it's been on. Oh, that's right. Okay. I feel like I've been working on it for forever. Da-da-da-da, big blue blob. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's beautiful. Look so at this that. is a sweater that I'm making myself. Musso. Have you finished your second skein sweater? yet? Yeah, my second skein got me to like right here. Oh, wow, sleep. that's awesome. So you'll I'm going to have a full skein left You'll over. have a full skein left over for sure. Um, but it's going to have big poofy sleeves. And I am that far on my first sleeve. So next time I'll... I can wear it. You can use some of the leftovers of it in your next shawl. Didn't you say you were going to do purple? Or were you going to do black and purple? Yeah. It's okay. I have but ideas. But this is really pretty with purple. Just ask a peacock. For it's you. It's true. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love it. Look, but I got this, this is... purple. Look how pretty that purple is with it. I'm not kidding you. I know you like those colors. You like okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Candy Shop Yarns. It's baby alpaca, merino, and cotton, and it's so fluffy and nice. It's a fingering weight yarn, but it's on a size 8 US needle. So it's coming pretty quickly. Yeah. And I did take a break to do that cowl and finish my shawl, but now I can just finish this. Finish that up. So it'll be done for sure by next time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It goes quickly. Gorgeous. Um. It does have an I-cord bind off that did not go quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's done now. But so. <laughs> it's done. And this is the bind off for the the sleeves too. So just a couple more. Yes, I did one of these on one of my pretty. sweaters it looks too. Nice. And I like it. Especially I like it once a lot. it's all blocked out. It looks really so, pretty. Ta-da! I love that because it's, you know, you look at it and you think, oh, it's, it's like kind a of a stuffed turquoise, animal snuggly. Kind of a turquoise blue, but then you see that it really does have greens in it, too. Yeah, I, um, Deborah said this oh, color is, color. it's like her mermaid lemonade yes. color that you can get at, on her store. I don't think she sells this base. She just had bought some to play with, but the color is mermaid lemonade. Pretty teal oh. color. I'm just going to hug this while you talk about color. yours. So, you know, talk crazy. about purple going with it. And honestly, <laughs> my colors of my wedding were this teal green and lavender. So, so gorgeous. I love that. Okay, really quick flash of a little work in progress. These, This is for the tassels. For the... I don't know why I even brought that because it's like not even... <laughs> <laughs but it is in my fabulous bag, which I love. My niece knocked back. Yes. Which is probably my favorite bag. With the Pretty leather nice. handles and everything. It's just like, wow. Yeah, that's a wow bag. <laughs> okay. That's that's my one work in progress, Becky. Oh, no, I, I thought you were going to show I do have else. one more. I do have one more. But do you have anything else before I show that one? Because this you one's totally, my most fabulous you one. You totally got me. I was like, hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want it to seem like I'm not working on anything. I have the two works in progress. What I need to do is start another sock project. It's just, weird to not have a sock funny. going on. Yeah, I haven't had socks for many moons. It's okay. I'm making another sweater. This is such a fun thing. Okay, oh, so oh my goodness, should I hold one? Let me let me open it. So this mm -hmm. is a granny square, but instead of a square, it has six sides hexagon mm -hmm. and it folds to make half of a sweater so if you want to hold that side up look at that i have is two. that fun and then so you put them together what i'm going to do is sew up the back and then up on and top of the sleeves and it's a little cardigan jacket <laughs> this is for my son kyle it's 
so cute. And he chews the yarn himself last weekend. And he loves to choose. He is excited because he wants me to make a matching one for his little cousin, Timmy. So hers is going to have pink switched out for where the red is. And be just a little bit smaller because she's smaller. So, so cute. We'll have to get a picture of them together in their little granny sweaters. But I love this. I kind of want to make myself one. Yes. Too. I think we should make ourselves because you know this how fast was they would so go fast. fast. Yes. This is like a day, an afternoon. This is fast. It's half a sweater. So. And it's so fun. Super fun. I've actually done it. one of these before too. And I just think they are absolutely cute. It's just fun. I didn't know if I would love the how the colors strive, but I think it's really pretty. I love these colors that Kyle put together. Yes. His, his favorite is red and black. And then he saw the gold yarn. He needed, he, he gold. needed gold. And he likes gray for some reason. He thought gray too. He told us gray. Yeah. And I did this kind of like a creamy oatmeal kind of color. Yeah. But I think that works well all together. I don't know. I probably won't do buttons or maybe just one big button. Yeah. But, yay! Yeah, just a, something to hold it in the so front. That is a nice, fast project. If your kids want a sweater, this is the fastest I've ever been able to make one. And you would totally scrap -itize it. Oh, yeah. Totally. I bet you'll even have yarn enough left over to get started on one for you. Maybe the skeins are a little bit empty. Oh, are they getting there? Especially okay. like the, the outside edge. Well, that's like is that the emptiest one. It's floppy. See, but you could just use it for an inside stripe on yours. Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing for Chanley. So I'm going to do this color first instead of last, sure. so that it uses less. Yeah. Just going to reverse the order. Then hopefully they'll so kind they'll... of be at the same balanced point. Yeah. Okay. All right, are you ready for I, mine? Do you have a real one? Yes, okay. I have a real one. I have a real one. Oh, do you have one more you want to show first or no? You can show yours. Okay. Just this is right. in an awesome bag. I love bag. that bag. <laughs> this bag was made by Queen Deborah. And it's attached to a basket. <laughs> How so fun, fun is that? And then the bag itself is quilted and she did it in, you know, 4th of July colors. She's, it's beautiful. I love it. I love the quilting on it. I love the basket on it. And it's nice and big for a big project, which sometimes I do big projects. <laughs> like this one, watch. <laughs> okay, so this one is made from knit collage yarn. Yay. Okay, so. I gotta show, I brought some skeins of knit collage to show. Look at this guy. Uh, this is the most magical one. I know. <laughs> this is called Daisy Chain Yarn. And if I hold it close, you can see the little daisies that live in it. And the lace. And there's in little there. pieces of lace. And, and there's little sparkles. angel sparkles. Yes. So this is called the <gasps> Daisy Chain Yarn. And it ha it's called Grand Prism. Sorry, Grand Prismatic. Which, if you've ever been to Yellowstone National Park, there is a tide pool there called Grand Prismatic Pool. Oh, fun. Which is super fun. I say tide pool. It's actually like hot pot kind of thing because it's in Yellowstone <laughs> and the, the deadly, it's you know, we're all going to die one day when that thing explodes, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's the little daisy hanging on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> freaking cute that is. It's just fun. It's so fun to knit with it. I got to tell you, I am having a ball with that. And then it also has this one. I guess I could just show you the ball. There's the skein. So this one is called Castaway Yarn. And this Hi. one is the color Lagoon. Lagoon. So that's a really fun one too with the green and purple in it again, which uh, you know I love. And then um, here it is wound in a ball so that I can knit it. And are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. So last time Becky was wearing her kaleidoscope cardigan and I've loved it so much that I decided that I needed to make myself a kaleidoscope Maggie. cardigan. Oh my gosh, look at how many daisies are poking out on yours. Look how Ooh. pretty that is. Wait, let me just kind of shake it out a little bit here. Oh my goodness. Is that <laughs> so pretty, you guys? You guys. You guys, 
<laughs> For real. Look what I did. I kind of took the um, angle of doing a stripe in each hue kind of an idea. Yeah. So this one uses the Grand Prismatic and I'm oh, not the Grand Prismatic. This is the Lagoon. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the little bumpy purple that I used in Becky's that I love so much in it. And then I did a couple rows of white to separate it from this one, which is the Grand Prismatic with mm -hmm. the pink in it. And then I did another stripe of Lagoon and that oh, one's got secret on some leftover yarn Whoa. in it from a sweater that I did. And this stripe is really fun because this one, I'm gonna see if I have it in there. This is called Pixie Twist. And yes, it's got this big old sequin that lives in it. And it also has these fun, funky flowers. Let me see if I can find, there's one right there. See Ooh. that funky flower, not the daisy, but this guy right here. Isn't that so Very cute? Very fun. <laughs> I love it. I feel like some kind of crazed. <laughs> like a little it's, it's like, sparkly oh, yarn goblin. It's so fun. And then I did this big purpley one down wow. here too. As opposed to this bright pink. So I put the purple down here. What I did was the purple with the Grand Prismatic down here. Mm -hmm. And then I have green that's going to go in with the Lagoon next. And it'll just be kind of like rainbowy stripes of cute amazingness so <laughs> isn't it so fun i told I've, I've been telling john as i'm working on these and it was the same way when i did becky's Just you never so feel more like an artist because you're like picking things out and you're like, ooh, how would this one go next? <laughs> and how would it look to you? Because you just have so much fun creating and playing with this. And I was going to tell you guys too, I got an email from Amy at Knit Collage, not personally to me, but she sent out an email, <laughs> right? That um, talks about what she's doing with this. She is doing, let's see if I can find it because it was so fun. So she's got a new thing that's called Creative Knitters. So this is a little membership that you can do for Knit Collage. And it is called the Creative Knitters. And seriously, you can join this. They are going to be doing things like Zooms together and make, oh, let you connect with people and it says you get a fun surprise bonus, like end of year yarn gift for joining it. And anyway, it's going to be really cool. And what I like about that is these guys are all about spurring on your own creativity. So instead of it just being, you know, here's the pattern, you can pick the yarn to go with it. I don't know. I've been hoarding scraps of knit collage because I love it. And then you can get these patterns where you get to play and combine and just ah! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot gush enough about how much fun I am having with this knit collage yarn just it is it. just just keep having to squish your stuff today so and I'm trying oh <laughs> please, give, it, give it a nice big hug I'm not kidding mm. it is like what the heck isn't that what the heck I just I'm a cuddly person today I love it hug I'm projects. trying to think how many <laughs> knit collage sweaters I've done to date. Um, one, two, three. Becky's is four, so this will be the fifth one that I've done. I think I told you last time I had these guys queued up. I have another one after this one. Yeah. Queued up and another ready to kaleidoscope. Go to. Or? It's not a kaleidoscope. It's called a gumdrop. Ooh. So <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Doesn't that sound amazing too? That's just and Becky's fun, right. There's fun, lots fun. of little daisies on this one. You see the daisies from the daisy chain yarn. Super cute. There's a couple Mom. right next to each other over there too. Look how cute. <laughs> I know. I just am. Love I it. am in love with this yarn. And then of course it has, you know, some other precious scraps that I've been keeping that I just love. Look, there's that fuzzy pink that I put in yours. Yeah. And so oh yes. I cannot Very wait to wear cool. this. And doesn't it look like an Easter egg, kind of? <laughs> a little bit. Just in time for springtime. I feel like it looks Easter. very springtime. So it'll have a short sleeve on it, too, that will make it very wearable for the springtime weather. I think it'll be just right. So Sweet. super excited. This is extra poofy. Yeah, there's Poof some right extra poofy parts in it. I wonder, if I, have 
I don't know if I put that ball in here or not. Maybe. Let's see. This is just it. Yep, this is it. So there it is. Well, this is the... And look how this yarn is coming out. Ooh, uh -huh. ooh, ooh. Yep. Ooh. That's, it's thick, thin, thick, thin stuff. So this is the, the pixie twist. And you probably see, you see the little iridescent oh, sparkle yeah, that's in a it big, too. The big glump of that. And this Ooh. one has little yellow flowers that come along every once in a while. And look, there's one of those sequins coming up too. Just magic. And it's got these, <laughs> these flowers in it too. I just, I, okay. So just a little bit more about her yarn too. This is hand spun in India. So what they do is they put little strips. There's a strip of fabric in the middle of this one too. And see that that's a strip of fabric there. And then there's leftover pieces from other yarns that get woven into them too, to make these that are kind of the mishmashy ones like this one in the daisy chain. That I, it just blows you away to use them is just, I can't, really say, cool. I can't say enough. And I really should probably just be quiet now so that we can do some other stuff. But I love <laughs> this. I love these knit collage projects, you guys. Are you I, sure? can't, I can't this say enough. <gasps> anyway, this, this one's actually, escape. this one's hooked to my swell. So <laughs> it's not going to go very far. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot that's the one you were going to share because mine's a little bit boring. <laughs> this one is, a, is not boring. I well, love it. I just have shared it before. Um, so if you've been here for a while, you've seen that, um, usually in July's I get the My Little Pony July Magic Advent Calendar from Christy at Yarn Cafe Creations, and every day I make a little flower hexagon, and my plan is to eventually have an afghan of those, but when I sat down and did the math, I decided I needed, like, 330 that's okay. So I thought, <laughs> you know what? Uh, this is going to take me forever if I only work on it in July. So this month I have made some more. Da, 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 da. I think I have about wow, 130 done. So these are the ones I made Just for this, this month. month. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'll count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And are they all still My Little Pony? Yes. Okay. So I've made 19, and they're the same yarns as before. Instead of just making one of every color, I've went back and got those same balls and finished them out. Oh, this okay. So I how many are you getting with one ball that with one, one mini? Uh, like five or six. Wow, that's good. So if I haven't used it in another project, uh -huh. for something scrappy, then I can get four more. Nice. Oh, that'll be such a beautiful one to put together. And I have them all separate, like in a different bag from my other yarn. So yes. These are my pony yarns. That and is something that some, Joyce will love. Some of these are different yarn that's not My Little Ponies, but that's okay. Most of them are going to be My Little Pony or like bright rainbow colored yarn. And I decided for the blanket, I'm going to do it a hexagon. Oh, because before right. I was gonna do like a rectangle, but then you'd have to have then, half hexes or something. Yeah, or have but a then, like, then I thought it would be fun to just have, you know, like we'll go around and then we'll go around bigger and bigger and just have like one big hexagon shaped like the settlers of Catan game. Yeah, it'll be like Catan, oh, but my little cool. pony flowers. And this pattern is by Miho Crochet, and it is, I think. Is that the same? You were making something by them. I was I? Yeah, I don't know if it was your probably not. You your know shawl, what? But it is. Else. It is it's the Lost in Time shawl. I recognize the logo. Yeah, it's this. I don't there know where the go. camera is today. There it is. But I, didn't bring it. I didn't bring my thing so we can check, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, I, send a I know it was. Pretty sure. But look how fun these flowers are. They're like, I love these poofs in the middle. The poof stitches. Yes. And then I did find a website where I could buy more plain yarn. Oh, hot dog. They're fingering weight. Is that why you stalled out for a bit? 
you ran no, out. No, I just was doing other things and I thought I wanted to get back to it. Um, my site that I had bought yarn on before, Dyer Supplier, they went out of business. <laughs> so I had to find a different site. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're doing that like nomadic yarns is nomad with a K because knitting. Oh, okay. Um, that's, I haven't got the order yet, but they said it's already been shipped. So nice. Pretty fast turnaround. Well, that's always really Should nice too. Really nice. So speaking of ordering things, I I kind of lost my mind and ordered a lot of stuff online this month. Is it Cuckoo Bananas ordering? <laughs> Cuckoo Bananas, yes. Oh well, here's the deal. So every year when it comes time for the principal at my school to decide who's gonna teach what for the next year, um, he gets counts from the students and he makes a schedule. And last year, um, I had an increase in the number of kids who wanted to take calculus, which is a compliment. So That's really cool. Yes, I'm <laughs> super excited about that. They really are loving it and they're doing well in it. And hey, if I can help save families the tuition cost of taking another class in college, then I feel like I'm being a good citizen. And <laughs> anyway, there's really lots of pluses to that. Mm -hmm. So the one negative though is that I can't teach any of the classes. Well, a bunch of juniors in calculus last year got together and they were like, please, Mrs. Solomon, you need to teach AP statistics so that we can take AP statistics from you. With you, because you're With our you, favorite. Because you're our favorite. <laughs> That's exactly how it came out. So I was like, oh, guys, I just, I don't know. I'm going to be teaching a lot of calculus students next year. Anyway, they begged and pleaded. And so long story long, I picked up another class period of um, AP stats, which means that I am teaching an extra class. So with that extra class, because I no longer have a, a break period every day, I get paid extra money. Yay! Yarn so dollars! That extra money <laughs> has kind of turned into yarn dollars, not gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, I have spent money on yarn dollars and Becky's been the recipient of some of that fallout too, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> Because yeah. I'll tell you, the yak yarn that I'm wearing around my neck right now, not a cheap yarn. Not by any means a cheap yarn. It's it's very special. And I really appreciate it for that, for what it is. And your is fluffy great. yarn is too. The fluffy yarn is also quite expensive. <laughs> so anyway, so I went, I have been suckered in by a bunch of different people into buying beautiful things. So I thought I would bring them to show. Okay. okay, were we gonna do our giveaway first or after that? It doesn't matter to me, whatever you decide you wanna do. Okay, we can wait till the end. You wanna wait till the I end? I know you're really excited to show your stuff. I am excited to show my stuff. It. Did you have any other stuff that you wanted to show too? I don't want it to be just all about me. Uh, yeah, I have a couple, like the next couple projects I am planning to do. Right. Cause my sweater is almost done. My big shawl is done. My other sweater is almost done, so I need to Both of us are ready cast for some on some new cast new ons, things. right? Okay, so we have to decide what's going to come next. Okay. All right, let's start with Hugh Loco. Hugh Loco. Pretty. I love her yarn. I did this one on a pre order. And. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. Beautiful. Look at that. Are you looking? Really looking oh. at how beautiful. That it, I don't even know what to even say about it, except that it's beautiful. So this one over here, the blue one is called Mystic Mountain, I believe. And this one in the middle is called, he's fine. Nobody can hear that. <laughs> this is called Fireside in the middle. This brown, beautiful caramely brown. I don't even know what color would you call that, Becky? Almost a pumpkin. It's the color of the shirt you're wearing. No, my shirt's oranger. Is it oranger? Yeah. And this one's a little bit brownier. It's like a orangish brown. Oh my gosh. And then it's this one. Pretty foxy brown. I'm gonna pull out because what I would like to do with this one is a color work sweater for myself. Like the one that I did for Julie. Yeah. Only it's going to change. And above the color work in the yoke, I want the blue. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the blue for a bit. And then I'll switch and do a color work with this. This is called First Snow and For Reals, people. Right Look at this. 
You're gonna go talk to him? So look how that, look, oh my gosh. I just, I can't, I can't even. But you see how that's got both the blue and the brown in it so that I can do the color work in it and then kind of transition the sweater from the blue to the brown. It's gonna be so spectacular. Name of this one is First Snow. So, ah, what? I probably won't get around to knitting this one until the summer, but it'll be for next fall, and I just am. It's too pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just, like, breathtaking or what? That, uh, that, see why I got sucked in by it? Because this is nothing short of glorious. In the color department. No wonder they say so he loco because it is crazy beautiful. Isn't that so fun? So that was number one hook on, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then then let's talk about David because David David is my brother in law and he raises sheep. So he's a, a sheep herder. He's a rancher, sheep rancher, I think mm -hmm. is what we would call him. And um he raises Rambouillet. And he Loves that I knit because and make things because he's like, oh my gosh, he gets to see like end product of what he's raising, right? And so every time that we get together with David, he I made him a hat out of Rambouillet once upon a time. And he just tells me every time he sees me how he wears that hat and keeps wearing that hat and he just loves it. <laughs> so I was like, well, and then Jen talked about how it's like so full of like hay and stuff because he does his ranch work in that hat, but he just loves it. So I had to get some more Rambouillet for him. This guy is, this is, um, it's called Pishkin Ooh. and it's from Farmer's Daughter Fibers, which is like all. Such a deep, rich brown. These guys do it from like start to finish from. Like they raise their own. Yeah, they, they use wool that is local to them. So this one says 100% Mon Montana and Wyoming Rambouillet. So oh, this cool. is like, this is the real McCoy. It's beautiful and feel how light it is. Rambouillet, Becky's knit with Rambouillet before too. And yeah, it's so light. It's it's so different from the merino we usually knit with. I did a sweater out of Rambouillet and when I blocked it, by the time I like laid it down, it was already dry. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't <laughs> hold water. It's so cool. It's because these guys, the Rambouillet sheep is a mountain sheep, right? So when you talk about them living in Wyoming and Montana, they're going to get snowed Snow. on <laughs> and wet. And, and they just, that for some, and I don't know, the fleece on these sheep is just gorgeous water shedding. So I bought three different colors. I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do with all of them, but green look at really that nice green too. and the brown go together so nicely. Yeah. And then I bought a tie-in of some spin sight like a, oh, that, would, that would actually go well with all three of those yeah. colors. Isn't that fun? So mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I definitely have a hat planned for David. And then I have three more skeins because I got two of the green. So <laughs> I have three more skeins to do something fun with. I might do some kind of infinity cowl or something out of Rambouillet. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would love to be able to wear Rambouillet too. <laughs> so far, every time I make with Rambouillet, it goes to David or Jen because of their Rambouillet heat. <laughs> well, that's anyway. just like a fun connection. It is. It's a really neat thing to be able to do that. So I have one more acquisition to share. I have two, like things I'm planning. Okay, why don't you go what ahead and talk do, about right? one of yours and then I'll... Oh okay, so I've had this yarn in, in my sash for a minute. But look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. Super springy green. This was yes. uh, um, one of a kind advanced reader's copy from the Yarnberry. She had six skeins of this, so I'm going to do a sweater. Oh, and wow. You, so you have six of this color? Yes, I have six of this. That's really... And what is this base? It's like a single ply. It's a single ply wow. merino um, fingering weight. That's beautiful. So 
So what are you gonna tell us the name of it? What are you saving that? The name of she always names her colors after books. The oh Yarn no, it, it it's a one of a kind. So she advanced, never named it. Advanced reader's copy because it what well, it didn't come out how she had wanted, so she didn't use it for one of her books. Once. Well, there you go. So it doesn't have it. It doesn't. So she was calling it advanced reader's copy. A R C. Yeah. One of a kind. Gotcha. Okay. So. Ta -da. <gasps> and I think, I think it's gorgeous. What I. Trying to decide the sweater I want to knit is a DK weight, and if I hold it together with a plane, it'll mm -hmm. kind of make it go farther. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe calm down the color a little bit, but I have to swatch and decide if that's what I want to do because I'm planning to do a Hohi Locatelli cardigan <gasps> that has you a really that one like interesting like circular the construction, construction is amazing on it so that's my plan is to do with this but you know we'll swatch once my fizzy blue sweater's done we'll do a swatch for oh that oh my gosh but that is gonna be i'm really an excited incredible and sweater i mean that, that pattern just, is look how happy this color is oh too it's so springy and fun that is really fun and i love it I'm excited. <laughs> That's going to be a neat sweater when that one's done. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. So. That's my plans. Ugh. My next sweater. It will be glorious. To show my other one or do you want to? Do nah, it? I can show my other one. Okay. It's not that so beautiful. I think it's very pretty, but, and I got sucked into <laughs> Frankie Gray Fibers because, hello, I watch the grocery girls and. Those of you who know, know that Frankie Gray is Jody Brown. Actually, I think Frankie Gray is her cat, which is what they named it. She oh. and her daughter, Jordan, um, named their yarn company after the cat. Oh, fun. <laughs> Jody and Jordan. So that's kind of Cute. fun. And here are the colors. So what she's done recently is she's been working on her tonal colors. That is her plain colors with no speckles in them. And the reason she's done that is so that she can match them to the speckled yarns so that those of us who like a speckle but get overwhelmed when there are lots of speckles and want to be able to pair it with something that's a little more, um, you know, grounded, grounded <laughs> yeah, can do that, which I think is really cool. So Ooh. I found this one. This one kind of called out to me because that it's called like Cactus Flower. And of course, Becky's younger sister really is into the cacti because she lived in Arizona for a couple years. So when I saw this green with the little pops of the oh, neon pink in there, it's really isn't that pretty. fun? So it's got like that grayy green yeah. kind of fun. So I got this one and then I got some tonals that I thought went well with it. So this guy is called Moss. So we've got the moss green to match it. Okay. And then I got these guys to go with it too. This one is called Say Yes. And it's a uh, purple. Oh, look at me, purple and greening again, Becky. <laughs> Who knew, right? And you hold those three. I'll get the other one out. Okay. And then the last one is a little bit purplier. This one's called Sangria. Pretty. And I just think they're so pretty, so pretty together. Pretty. So did you buy this for something for Julie? Maybe. I, cactus? I haven't decided yet. But don't you think it would be fun to do another one of the cowl like what you're wearing, only in the DK weight? Yeah. I'd have to switch the count up a little bit and use these four colors to do a little cowl for Julie. That would be really fun. Because she um, she is up where it's cold. It's even colder and snowier where she is in Logan than it is here. Did they get dumped on as much as Hard to imagine. They did not this time. We really got it here in the valley mm -hmm. the worst, I think. But and I think my side of the valley is the worst. But I think it's fun to make her a few little options for accessories yeah. and stuff too. So that's anyway. really fun. So that's my other stashquisition. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that will make into something just totally beautiful as well. Love, 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 love the green and purple together. Yeah, sorry, sorry pretty. to uh, force that on you all the time, but I love it. <laughs> I love it too much to not. 
I'll force it out of me. <laughs> okay, my next shawl, because I like to have a shawl in this sweater going, is uh, going to be this rainbow set of Yarn Cafe Creations. This is her gothic collection, so it's like a kind of a dark, moodier rainbow. Mm -hmm. And, and they're named gothic, like a gothic red and a gothic, gothic green and a gothic blue and a gothic purple. Yeah. I don't remember what all the names are, but most of them are named sort of like that, at least. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that is so, so fun. Pretty and fun. It's going to be and so then, fun. And um, then I forgot what the pattern's called, but I'm going to. I think it's Crystal Cavern, something like that. But it has lace sections of each color and then like a garter section between each and I'm going to use this gray to break it up. Oh my gosh, that would I be so I think that will fun. work well for that job. The only other color I can think that I might consider using is black with it. No. Just because those jewel tones. Like, these are the already black. black so they are pretty dark end, already. So are I, I think this will be okay. If I don't like it, I could just Try something oh else. my gosh, no, I think it's gonna be gorgeous. But I think it's gonna be fabulous. It will be really pretty, Becky. And I'm excited. I just really want to get that sweater done and then I can cast on like three or four new things. Uh, yep. I, I've you definitely know? got things to cast on too. Like, I gotta I finish just my cowl. Get this done. I feel so good that this got done though. I feel yeah. good that this got done and this got done and so I'm and I'm that kaleidoscope. I started that sweater on Monday of this week of this week oh so that's like three days yeah so it it goes very fast so that one should be done next week yeah I'm like, no problem. Ooh, and just... then we'll be ready to cast on all the fun spring things so spring yay yeah that I'm excited to use that springy color that I've had for forever get around to it <gasps> great it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I wanna do um, another t shirty kind of. That's the one I was on. waiting for to figure out the yarn supplier because I need right. the base, mm -hmm. like just the plain. So that's kind of the one that I've been waiting to start till I figured that out. <laughs> so, yay! Should be on the way. I feel good about getting that started. And next we have a giveaway to our Are we announce. ready to show people our giveaways? Oh my gosh. Are we just gonna give away one or are we gonna give away both right now? Okay, so here's the deal. We're March, right? First week of March, that's when you're watching this. If you watch it when it comes right out. What's March, Becky? It's coming up on it's our the birthday. Third month of the year. It's, it's birthday month. It's coming up on birthdays. birthdays. Our birthdays are... We are three weeks apart. Three weeks apart. Birthdays. That's right. Um, moms, do you, do you feel comfortable sharing your birthday? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Just not how old I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 39. Yeah, we decided because now I'm 29 every year. She can't be the same age as me. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm her mom. Uh, she's 39. I'm 29. Don't try to math those. Yeah, don't. Um, <laughs> But mom's birthday is March 13th, mm -hmm. and my mm -hmm. birthday is April 4th. Mm -hmm. So we thought for our giveaway, um, we'll announce it this month, and then we'll draw for it next month. This will be right between our two birthdays, won't it, Beck? Yes. That's and so fun. Yeah. Yeah, so my so birthday. Happy birthday. I have never told people about my birthday, and this is when you know that you're dealing with a crazy woman. But I tell my <laughs> math students this all the time. So my birthday is March 13th. And March 14th, 314, is widely known in the mathematical community as Pi Day because 3.14 is math, most people right? will know Pi understand day. that that's Pi Day, right? Yeah. So a lot of times I have my let my students bring Pi and celebrate Pi Day and all this. So I'm at a conference when I oh god, it was only like my second or third year teaching, and I'm at this conference and I'm listening to this guy talk about how the exit number that he got off that day to get to the conference was exit 314. And he just says, <laughs> Whoa. So 314, I swear you guys, I am going to write a book called, and he says, I'm going to call it Pursued by Pi because everywhere I go, I notice Pi. And I thought, Well, yeah, but you're looking for it, dude. Really, come on. And he goes, Really? My birthday is March 13th, and the day after it is Pi Day. And I just kind of went, That's my birthday. My birthday. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. He says, And I teach in room number 314 at my school. 
the hairs at that point stuck up on the back of my neck and I looked, the girl that was sitting next to me taught with me and I hit her on the leg like this and I said, what is my room number? And she goes, oh my gosh, you're teaching 314. <laughs> and I was like, I do, what the heck, right? So then I start freaking out. I raise my hand, I say, dude, <laughs> that's me. I teach, the, he says, it's really a weird thing, <laughs> but math people, for some reason, it follows you around. So I started noticing things like, my favorite candy is the, the plain M&M, right? Mm -hmm. And I look and on the king size share package of it, guess how many ounces are in that bag? 3.14 ounces. Look at it, the king size one, <laughs> not kidding you. I was just like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And math people, it kind of happens to like, for instance, I teach right at a high school. There's another girl in our math department whose birthday is also March 13th, same as mine. At the last school I was at, there was a guy whose birthday was March 12th. So he was a couple days ahead of pie. Albert Einstein's birthday, I'm not lying to you, is March 14th. Go look it up. Yeah. It's true. March That's 14th. That's my best friend Kathy's birthday, too. It, yeah, March and 14th. She's and a she's a mathematician. A, <laughs> she's a mathematician. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a thing. You're laughing right now, I know, but it's true. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's weird, mm -hmm. but it happens all the time. The second school I went to, they didn't have a room 314, so I ended up teaching in room E. 14. <laughs> I don't ask for these now. room numbers. They just happen, okay? Um, 2204. Yeah, yeah. so. My, yeah. Myth busted. It's I'm busted. <laughs> but I did teach in E14 at two different schools. So I've been at five different schools. I taught in, in 314 three, and I taught in E14 twice. And I taught in 315 at another school that didn't oh. have a 314. That's pretty close. And another school that didn't have a 314, I ended up in 304. So, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's just weird. P pie wants me. What can I say? And I want pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, anyway, that's, that's too funny, I know. But are you ready to see what we're gifting this time? Yes. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. More gifts from our wonderful yes. friends, Debra. Yes. Debra gave these to us to give a giveaway isn't she wonderful i love that unicorn dew color look at this yes <laughs> this is called unicorn dew mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get a load of it i'm gonna try to hold it in the light so that it's you like can see the beauty, all beauty of it yes these are sock tubes and the color of this one is lavender lemonade look at that really pretty. beautiful purple so so if and you it, were here last yeah. time, um, I showed a couple pairs of tube socks that I had made. Mm -hmm. um, they're just a really fast way to have knitted socks. That's and they're really fun, too. Mm -hmm. You can try different colors really quickly. Yep. And I pretty recently started making socks out of tubes. I was scared for a long time because you have to cut the yarn. Ooh. You but, do have um, to cut the yarn. It's good. It's really fun. So, how are we going to pick our winners? Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say okay, this. Okay, sorry. I love the sock tubes for, you know, prizes. And if you are the winner of this prize, we will send you the sock tube. It's yours. If you are one of our loved ones who watches this podcast, not so much because you knit, but because you love us, we will turn the sock tube the sock tube into a pair of socks for you and send you a pair of hand knit socks. Yeah, so still comment. How about that? For the giveaway. You don't if, have to make them. Even if you're not comfortable knitting them yourself. Yes, that's because we love you so much and because it's really not that hard to do for us. So we would be happy to do that for you just, just <laughs> for commenting on our video and sharing it out there. If you're afraid to do it, We'll do it for you. If you want to learn how to do it and you're here in the vicinity, we'll have you over and we'll show you how to do it if you don't know how to do it. Yeah. We just want to get people involved and out there and we want you to have a chance to win this absolutely gorgeous, hand-painted, hand-dyed, hand-cranked yarn and <laughs> be able to wear it on your tootsies because once you have worn hand-knit socks, you don't go back. 
You just don't. You, you no, just are like. I need to just like throw away all my other <laughs> socks because I've never used them. You know, them. I keep a couple of pairs for going bowling because I don't want to put my good socks in yeah, bowling. Yeah, I'm like, maybe one day I might exercise, maybe. So I keep a couple <laughs> of pairs just in case I just want to, to be sweat like... in. <laughs> not, not kidding though, for real. They are, they are wonderful. So. What we, here's what we want you to do. We're gonna show you now a couple of things that we have in our stash of stuff that we do for gifting. Because it's birthday time, we figured gifts is a good time to, a good time to talk about gifts, right Becky? Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you some of the favorite gifts that we have, and we're gonna give you this beautiful gift too. And what we would like you to do is comment on some of the things that you like to make for gifts. And if you are not a maker, some of the things you like to receive that are handmade for gifts. So that's, that's the comment. Just click the comment section below and comment on that. And also you, like our video, please. Yeah, give us a <laughs> thumb up on the video too. Share it if you like. Um, we're not going to require that for you to enter, but give us a thumb up and, um, that'll automatically enter you to win some socks. They're really the, nice. Yeah. In the giveaway to either get the tubes. If you just want the tubes, totally happy to send those to you. If you win the socks, we'll get with you and you can tell us what size you want us to make and give us a little bit of specification on that. And we'll finish up a sock for you. Yay. <gasps> Is that exciting? Okay. Okay, um, Becky, what kind of gifts do you so like I to make? thought of this idea because I found myself this last week, um, knitting patterns that I have already previously knit. Mm -hmm. So I will like go back and knit the same pattern. Um, you mentioned Jeannie's. Right. That she was wearing. I also had made that same pattern recently, that blue shawl for my sister-in-law. Mm, That's right. Beckley by D. O'Keefe. So I love that shawl. I would make it again even. Found the shawl that you love making. And so I've so made that twice. Times. And it'll be the same thing for me with the Escher cowl. Remember I had told you I'm planning mm -hmm. on making it. I even bought this color that I want to make my own. Yeah. But for gifts, it's a fabulous one for sure. So I have a few. So this is the shawl I just finished today that we already showed. Age of Brass and Steam by Orange Flower Yarns. Um, this is my third one I've made of this. I've gifted the other two. But it's just a very simple little one skein triangle shawl mm -hmm. and it works out so quickly right i think i made one like this i don't think it was this exact pattern uh for stephanie yeah right and made one for her too oh, we've also I gifted also a couple a changing of... staircases i wanted to show but I yes it. i've gifted changing staircases twice now mm -hmm. okay. and i also gifted um you can show this reina while we go reina that's exactly the one i was gonna say the reina is another one that we gifted. Did we made one for grandma, right? Yeah. Of Raina. That both of us knit on yeah, because we wanted made, to both I've have knitted like on that one. Three or four of those. Yeah. So this one is a really nice one. The open lace is a really quick thing to work. And so this is definitely a repeat pattern that's been in the gift pile before. So we've got that guy. Um, I think I also talked about how I had gifted one of these magpie darlings. So hats are something that I commonly gift. I, I've probably gifted probably close to 25 hats that oh, I've yeah. done. I did the, uh, the Helix, Helix hats. I make I those have any over and over and <laughs> over again. Um, so they're, they're another quick one that I do a lot. Yeah, this is a Changing, oh, a changing staircases. staircases shawl right. by Tristan at Dragon Horde Designs. Mm -hmm. And it's just got a very simple like mesh lace and then you garter. Oh, and then oh, no, it's just and this tubular it. um this tubular edge on it. It's got uh, what we call that an eye cord eye cord edging that you is make as you go, so yeah. you don't have to like bind it off at the end. This one. And that's another really one skein off. that is very good bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. I've done a few of these. Mm -hmm. Can you show that Raina? I showed the Raina. Yep. Okay, oh, find my other shawl. This is a larger gift that I've made a couple of times. 
This one is a Studio 54. This is also from Yarn Cafe, right? Yeah, the pattern is. The pattern is, yeah. Yarn Cafe creations, Christy. Mm -hmm. um, this one uses like three main colors, but you need more than one skein. So if you just had three skeins, it wouldn't quite be enough. Oh, it's yeah. big. It's like a four skeins worth. Yeah, this one really is a, this is a wrap yourself up in like bundle big, up shawl. Big blanket shawl. Yeah. But what I did on my other one is I used scraps and I faded them through, but I just followed the pattern for like, it has a little bit of a texture here. Right. So that one was fun. And then some hats that I really like. Um, the ones I've been doing are the everyday slouchy, mm -hmm. and this is the fingering version. So just the stitches are bigger on this one. This one's looser. I wonder if that's kind of because it's older or because it, maybe also because fingering. it's fingering weight. Mm -hmm. But that's a good one. And then this hat we talked about a little bit last time. Oh yeah. This is called the Moonstone Beanie. I figured out the pattern name. That's right, we couldn't remember the name of this. <laughs> and it's got this just juicy cable. Yes, and you made one for me, and I loved it so much that I went and found it and made another one for me. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. And here's another one of the same pattern I made. I think I decided I like the more solid and tonal colors better. You can see, but you can see that better than I thought once I'm looking at it on camera. Yeah. The big braid. So this one is fun such a squishy pattern and it's a fun pattern because you really are like actually it's not a cable you're actually braiding it it has like a, a break in the pattern and you yeah it's it's cool it's really fun yeah i'm trying to think if i can show it it's it, it actually has like a hole here that you work through oh anyway that was just normal cables i don't think so but it's big squishy braid big. and I love it. <laughs> it's a very squishy hat for sure. And then if you like cowls, I made a couple of this. I have one like that. You is have that, one that I've made. Is that the one? It might not be the same pattern, but I have an orangey one. That you but did. you have like an orange and purple. purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the same pattern. Yeah. I'll have to put the name of this because I don't remember. But I love this, this my rainbow cowl. I mm -hmm. used a mini skein set for this one. So fun. So that was great. And then this is the Nanu cowl. And you can make an extra long like I did, or I've made them shorter like this. Mm -hmm. Like this and up. <laughs> I've done a couple, but that just has like a pretty simple cable. That was really nice, I think. So those are some of my favorite ones. I keep re-knitting. Oh, and I wanted to show you these gloves that Three my minutes. mom made me. <laughs> that is like one of the very first things I ever knit. Did you know that? Yeah, you, I think I was in high school when you made these for me. Yeah. But just and like. And Audrey has a pair just like them, my sister, that I made from the same yarn. When I say just like, I mean same yarn. Simple, simple fingerless mitts. I have made a lot that are just like this. Yeah. and give to people because I just think that's so versatile and they're, it's just like a small little thing so it's quick to make and it is. who doesn't love those? I love them a lot. Oh, that's right. So these are some of the favorite ones I have received. <laughs> I was going to show you this too. That just totally reminded me. But that's, have... that's all my... I actually have this guy because... This is my new Yarnier box, like Yay! I showed you last time too, the Yarnier. <laughs> and um, this one came with a beautiful little card. Cute. Isn't that so cute? Becky's a card giver too. She loves that. And the yarn in this one is to make some cute little, speaking of quick, easy little gift, boot toppers. Aren't oh those cute? Cuteness. I really like this picture of back here. This is really cute on the booties. Look how fun that is. <laughs> so and there's a crochet and a knit. That's right. There's a crochet version on the white boot and then the red boot has the knit version on it, which is one of the things I really like about Yarnier is they always <laughs> give you the option of either one. 
So you can, if you're a knitter, whether you're a knitter or a crocheter, you can always make a pattern with it. This one also came with a Coco Knits sweater washing bag. Oh, how fun is that? What these do is they just keep your sweaters from agitating too much. You don't want a sweater to felt. And the yarn this time is called Jameson's, which is a Shetland wool. Um, these are for your, the traditional Fair Isle sweaters are typically knit with this Shetland wool, which is like, it's a color work thing. Ooh. And what I thought was interesting about this is that when Vicki was showing her unboxing of this one, she said she had never heard of this wool before. Oh. Which kind of surprised me because if you have done Jameson's. any kind of color work ever, you know Jameson's. <laughs> because Jameson's is like a gold standard for that. But anyway, so. Is that the one that you bought a bunch of? For that I sweater. did, and uh, someday I am going to do that beautiful, fair, true Fair Isle amazing sweater when I get enough courage. Because if I showed you the pit, the pattern, mm -hmm. girl, yeah, it's it's going to be intense. But I really would love to do it someday. Maybe when I retire, I'll have enough time to. So booty toppers one. are a great gift. As booty well. toppers are a great gift because they're one of those quick ones that you can love it. That you can do. I, I think I made a pair of booty toppers for. You made some for Jules. For before. Jules, that's right. For her birthday one year. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, that just totally reminded me when Yay. I saw your wrist warmers of that. So. Oh yeah. There you go. I Did think that's everything that's in that's my pile. pile to show. She oh, had a very goodness. large pile today. Had a very large pile today. <laughs> All right, so comment below some of your favorite things to either make as gifts or to receive handmade gifts. And, and next time we get together, we're going to draw for the prize. Yeah, and we have two, so two winners. Um, That's right. We need to turn one into a pair of socks. We could. It's <laughs> more fun to wins. make them. It is. So if you're a maker, you <laughs> if definitely If I won, I would want to make my own because they're really fun. Well, me too. But if you are not if able you're scared to... of it, don't worry about not commenting because you're scared of making them. That's the whole <laughs> point of saying that, guys. Yep. Comment on stuff that you that you love. Yep. Because you get to see every month what we love. We want to hear about what you love. <laughs> That's why we like the comments. Yep. So. so have a super duper March. <laughs> we'll see you again before Becky's birthday. Maybe Probably I don't after know what mine. Day it is. Around my birthday. Right around Becky's birthday. We'll be filming <laughs> before Becky's birthday. Let's Thank say it that way. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Bye. Have Happy <a> March. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>